I know what you're thinking. Semua orang kenal McDonald's kan? Siapa yang tak kenal McDonald's? Dekat Malaysia ni especially siapa yang tak kenal McDonald's? Walaupun tak semua yang suka makan McDonald's, tapi you have to admit that you know about McDonald's. That glorious name, McDonald's. So hari ni saya nak share berkenaan satu movie yang bertajuk The Founder. So if you are into entrepreneurship then this movie is good for you. Kalau you nak tahu macam mana asal-usul sesebuah brand tu, sesuatu brand tu, this also is a good movie for you. Dalam vlog ni saya akan share key takeaways from the movie The Founder. So before we go into the key takeaways tu, uh, saya akan cerita a little bit about the storyline of The Founder. How the heck does a 52-year-old, over-the-hill, milkshake machine salesman build a fast food empire with 1,600 restaurants and an annual revenue of $700 million? Cerita The Founder ni berkenaan Ray Kroc. Ray Kroc ni orang yang bertanggungjawab uh, menjadikan McDonald's macam sekarang ni. So it started, Ray Kroc ni asal dia, dia penjual mesin milkshake. They drive from one place to one place untuk jual the milkshake machine. Kadang-kadang orang nak beli, kadang-kadang orang tak beli. Prince Castle Sales. Hi, Jim. Ray, how's it going down there? Good. Swell. A lot of interest. He was a salesman. So, it's quite a difficult life for him. Dia kena banyak spend masa outside, away from his wife, apa semua lah. Kebanyakan restoran yang dia pergi tu, dia drive in restaurant, apa semua. The quality is very bad. Waiting time is too long, semua, so it does not uh, impress him at all. Tapi uh, ada sekali tu dia dapat call, uh, dia call office dia. Masa tu tak ada handphone. Dia just he, he just need to use uh, public phone to call to the HQ. And then HQ cakap, oh ada uh, dapat uh, enam order daripada satu kedai ni, daripada satu kedai in restaurant ni, tapi kat California. We got an order, six mixers. To anyone in particular? McDonald's. So, dia macam pelik lah. Eh, ada ke dan in yang nak order nak order enam serentak ni mungkin salah kot. So dia drive pergi sana. Eh, dia call dulu. Dia call McDonald's tu. And then McDonald's bila dia cakap dengan Mac kot. Dia cakap dengan Mac. Mac cakap ah, ah, memang ada kesilapan. Uh, bukan enam dia cakap. Tapi dia nak lapan milkshake machine. Lapan. Set of six. So dia terus pergi ke sana, dia drive ke sana apa semua Bila the, the first experience Bila dia order the food Dia macam clueless eh. Dah lah orang ramai beratur panjang sangat The line, the queue tu untuk untuk order dia makanan Sebab semua masa dia beratur tu ada orang depan dia cakap Oh uh, ni sekejap ni ni Okay, dia okay je lah Bila sampai dia punya turn, dia order lah hamburger dengan soda And then Tak sampai 30 seconds, dia punya food dah ada depan dia kat counter tu Dia macam Are you sure this is my food? Dia macam tak percaya benda tu Because this is something new Normally dia pergi dine in restaurant Dia tak macam tu So And then tu satu Lagi satu Maksudnya bila dia nak Dia nak dia, dia dapat food tu Tanya okay So nak makan kat mana ni Oh satu cakap Makan lah dalam kereta ke Kat taman ke Anywhere lah maksudnya So this is something new New to him So masa dia yang duduk makan tu The owner of the place Nama kedai tu McDonald's at that time Nama owner dia, dia ada uh, dia adik beradik Owner dia tu adik beradik Satu Dick, satu um, Mac Nama nama saya Maurice Mac and Richard Dick McDonald So nama dia orang McDonald McDonald ni nama orang bukan nama yang buat-buat So dia macam tertarik lah dengan the concept apa semua Dia macam still impressed dengan duduk makan Tiba-tiba Uh, Mac ikut datang approach dia Care for a little tour? We wanted something different And that's when my brother here Comes up with one of his brilliant ideas Orders ready in 30 seconds Not 30 minutes Ray ni dapat idea So dia, dia, dia propose lah cakap There should be McDonald's everywhere Franchise the damn thing Mr. Cro Franchise 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 Tapi the brothers tu Dia tak, tak agree Sebab dia cakap dia, dia orang pernah buat sebenarnya Dia dah ada bad experience Pasal franchise dia tak dapat, tak dapat control the quality dekat all the franchisee tu So end up dia punya tutup So tinggal satu je yang buka yang dia orang jaga sekarang 
So what they did ni kat situ, they just uh, try to improve the production line, try to improve the processes as a trial lah. So they just focus on one outlet je. Macam mana Ray involved dengan Dick and Mac, dia dapat convince kan both brothers ni untuk uh, hire dia sebagai head of franchising for McDonald's. Dia dapat uh, the, the right investor untuk invest and then franchise tu akhirnya berkembang. So, sampai dah, dah, dah datang satu couple ni in, interested to invest apa semua lah and then si Ray ni pula because of the first agreement dengan the two brothers tu dia punya portion profit tu sikit je dia dapat dia punya portion dia punya revenue untuk dia tu sikit je and dia try to renegotiate dengan the two brothers I want to renegotiate my lousy deal I can't can't or won't Ray what? no oh, damn it tapi the two brothers tak agree so long story short sampai dia ada financial problem apa semua And then uh, towards the end, he managed to take over McDonald's from the original owner of McDonald's. The brothers are your business partners. Make it go away. I don't care what it takes. So you tahu macam mana dia buat benda tu? You have to watch that movie. What you ought to be doing is owning the land upon which that burger is cooked. You're not in the burger business. You are in the real estate business. This is a good movie for entrepreneur, for businessman, usaha nak usahawan kecil, you know, atau orang yang baru nak start jadi usahawan ni. You should at the end of the day, uh, Ray Kroc ni berjaya take over. Tapi you have to watch the movie untuk tahu macam mana the process, the journey of Ray Kroc untuk take over the McDonald's brand. Sampaikan, sampaikan. The two brothers tu tak dapat royalty langsung Tau, tak dapat royalty langsung Sampaikan the, the original outlet tu terpaksa tutup Because Ray Kroc dah take over McDonald's Business is war It's dog eat dog, rat eat rat I want to take the future, I want to win The first key takeaways is that One word Persistence Maksudnya, bila you buat something, jangan mudah nak berputus asa. Buat, buat, buat sampai jadi. In my situation now, I tengah nak diet, I tengah nak control my weight, I tengah nak live a healthy lifestyle, and I need to be persistent in my effort to achieve what I want to achieve. The second key takeaways untuk business owner is that never ever fall in love with your own business it's easier said than done because when you starting a brand when you start your business you put a lot of effort to make sure that your brand grows your business grows apa semua kan tapi at the moment you are falling in love with your own business your emotion tends to cloud your judgement so you might make a decision that is not good for your business because you are making it based on your emotion. The third key takeaway is that you have to know when to grow and you have to know when to expand. Dalam cerita tu, the brothers ni, they reluctant to grow uh, atau expand because of their past experience buat franchise apa semua. So, there is a resistance and they still stuck in their own mindset at that time. And Ray Kroc ni, dia nampak that opportunity so dia rebut lah peluang tu dia ambil peluang tu sebab dia tahu the potential of McDonald's to grow and expand the fourth key takeaways is that to delay a decision is a decision by itself so maksudnya bila you, you tangguhkan untuk buat keputusan meaning you already make a, a, a decision untuk tangguhkan keputusan tu So you have to be very mindful sebab sometimes dalam dunia business this is straight from the movie so in in that situation uh, the two brothers ni dia lambat buat decision dia delay the decision sampai ke orang lain ambil peluang tu the fifth key takeaway is that remember always pattern 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 register your brand kalau di Malaysia ni dekat Maipo, always register your brand dekat Maipo supaya orang lain tak boleh nak steal your brand orang lain tak boleh nak uh, take away your brand from you at least you secure something 
So remember eh, pergi register your brand kalau anda ada brand sendiri, kalau anda a business owner, uh, please 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 take this very seriously sebab you don't know when your business will grow and expand. So jangan tunggu bila dah grow and expand baru nak pergi register your brand. Masa tu perhaps dah ada orang register uh, sebelum you register. So that's five key takeaways from the founder. Uh, cerita macam mana bermulanya McDonald's dekat dekat US and eventually it is uh, it expanded throughout the world. Bila you tengok cerita tu from human perspective, you akan rasa kesian kepada the two brothers. But when you are looking the movie from purely business perspective, I think that's what Ray Kroc did lah. You are to stop this instant. I'm through taking orders from you. You have a contract. Contracts are like hearts. They're made to be broken. So perhaps this should be uh, our lesson learned from the very big brand, big corporation in the world so that kita belajar, kita ambil iktibar dan kita buat apa yang baik dan kita tinggalkan apa yang tak baik. There's a wolf in the hen house. We let him in. So, tengok the founder. It's a very good movie. Enjoy and share it in the comment below what do you think about the movie. I have it. You don't have it. You sure about that?